Did you know that during the Battle of Carancebes in 1788, soldiers on both sides accidentally fired at their own troops in the midst of the chaos? Welcome back to Historical Heralds, where we delve into the most intriguing events in history. Today we're taking a closer look at one of the most chaotic battles ever fought, the Battle of Carancebes in 1788. This pivotal moment in history is not only filled with intense action, but also holds significant importance in shaping the course of events that followed. The Battle of Carancebe is a peculiar and chaotic episode in military history, unfolded on the night of September 17, 1788, during the Austro-Turkish War 1787-1791. This conflict, part of the broader series of hostilities between the Habsburg monarchy and the Ottoman Empire, saw one of the most extraordinary incidents of friendly fire ever recorded. In a bizarre twist of fate, the Austrian army ended up fighting itself, leading to a disastrous outcome driven by confusion, miscommunication, and panic. Stationed near the town of Carincebes in modern-day Romania, the Austrian forces were a diverse and multi-ethnic mix of soldiers from across the Habsburg Empire, including Germans, Hungarians, and Croats. This diversity, coupled with language barriers, often made coordination and communication within the ranks challenging. As night fell, a series of misunderstandings and an unfortunate encounter with alcohol among the troops spiraled out of control. What began as a scouting mission for Ottoman forces quickly descended into a drunken melee and mass hysteria, with soldiers mistakenly believing they were under attack by the enemy. Shouts of Turks, Turks, echoed through the camp, amplifying the chaos. By morning, hundreds of Austrian soldiers lay dead or wounded, victims of a tragic case of friendly fire. The Ottomans, seizing the opportunity, easily captured Karansebes without much resistance. The Battle of Karansebes stands as a stark reminder of the critical importance of discipline and clear communication in military operations, and remains a curious and cautionary tale in the annals of history. Context of the Battle of Karansebes, 1788 the Battle of Karansebes occurred within the broader context of the Austro-Turkish War of 1787-1791, a conflict driven by long-standing rivalries and territorial disputes between the Habsburg monarchy and the Ottoman Empire. This war was part of a series of confrontations over control of Southeast Europe and the Balkans, regions of strategic and economic importance. The Austro-Turkish War began as the Habsburg monarchy under Emperor Joseph II, sought to capitalize on the Ottoman Empire's perceived weakening following its defeat by the Russians in the Russo-Turkish War, 1787-1792. Joseph II aimed to expand Habsburg influence in the Balkans and secure key territories. The alliance with Catherine the Great of Russia further emboldened Austria to challenge the Ottomans. The Austrian army of the late 18th century was a diverse and multi-ethnic force, composed of soldiers from various regions under Habsburg rule, including Germans, Hungarians, Italians, and Slavs. This diversity, while a strength in numbers, also posed significant challenges in terms of communication and cohesion. Language barriers and cultural differences often hampered effective coordination among the troops. Karansebes, located in present-day Romania, held strategic importance as a staging ground for Austrian forces preparing to engage the Ottoman army. The town's location near the Timis River made it a crucial point for launching military operations deeper into Ottoman-held territory. As the Austrian forces camped near Karansebes in September 1788, they were on high alert for any signs of Ottoman movements. The period leading up to the battle was marked by heightened tensions and anticipation. Austrian troops were wary of potential Ottoman attacks, leading to a state of constant vigilance. The diverse composition of the army meant that maintaining discipline and clear communication was paramount, yet increasingly challenging under the stress of impending combat. On the evening of September 17, 1788, Austrian hussars, light cavalry, were sent out on a reconnaissance mission to scout for Ottoman forces. Their discovery of Romanian merchants selling schnapps led to an impromptu drinking session, which set the stage for the ensuing chaos. The mixture of alcohol fatigue and the general tension among the troops would soon contribute to one of the most bizarre and tragic episodes of friendly fire in military history. This context sets the stage for understanding how the Battle of Karansebes unfolded, highlighting the complexity and precariousness of military operations in the 18th century. The incident not only underscores the difficulties of managing a diverse and multi-ethnic army, but also serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of war. The Battle of Karansebes, 
which unfolded on the night of September 17, 1788, is often remembered as a tragicomic episode in military history, marked by confusion, panic, and a series of unfortunate events that led the Austrian army to fight itself. This bizarre incident occurred during the Austro-Turkish War of 1787-1791, when the Austrian forces were encamped near the town of Karansebes in present-day Romania. On the evening of September 17th, a group of Austrian hussars, light cavalry, was dispatched across the Timis River to scout for any signs of the approaching Ottoman army. Instead of encountering enemy forces, they came across a group of Romanian merchants who were selling schnapps, a strong alcoholic beverage. The hussars decided to purchase the schnapps and began drinking, quickly becoming intoxicated. As the hussars enjoyed their impromptu drinking party, some Austrian infantrymen crossed the river and discovered the hussars with the schnapps. The infantrymen demanded a share of the alcohol, but the hussars refused. This led to a heated argument between the two groups. The confrontation escalated, and in the ensuing scuffle, a shot was fired. Although it remains unclear who fired the first shot. The sound of gunfire in the dead of night caused immediate panic among the drunken soldiers. Believing they were under attack by the Ottoman forces, the hussars and infantrymen began firing wildly in all directions. The shouts of Turks, Turks echoed through the camp, spreading fear and confusion. Hearing the commotion and believing that an Ottoman attack was indeed underway, other units of the Austrian army, including artillery, joined the fray. The chaotic situation was exacerbated by the fact that the Austrian army was composed of soldiers from various ethnic backgrounds who spoke different languages. This made communication difficult and further fueled the confusion. In the darkness and amidst the panic, soldiers began shooting at shadows, mistaking their own comrades for the enemy. Entire regiments started to retreat in disorder, some even abandoning their positions and equipment. Officers tried to restore order, but their efforts were in vain. The confusion was so great that at one point, an artillery officer ordered his cannons to open fire, believing he was targeting the Ottomans, when in reality, he was firing at his own retreating troops. By the time the chaos subsided and dawn broke, the extent of the disaster became apparent. Hundreds of Austrian soldiers lay dead or wounded, victims of their own comrades' gunfire. The Austrian army had effectively routed itself without any engagement with the actual enemy. The Ottomans, who had not been present during the chaos, moved in and captured Karinsebes with little resistance, further compounding the Austrian defeat. The Battle of Karinsebes remains one of the most extraordinary examples of friendly fire in military history. It highlights the perils of poor communication, lack of discipline, and the dangers of alcohol consumption within the ranks. This incident serves as a poignant reminder of how quickly a situation can spiral out of control in the heat of war leading to tragic and sometimes absurd outcomes. We encourage viewers to explore more about significant historical events, like the Battle of Karanzi, and uncover the untold stories, forgotten heroes, and enduring legacies that continue to resonate through the ages. By engaging with history, we can broaden our perspectives, deepen our knowledge, and appreciate the complexities of the past that continue to shape the present. Join us on this journey through history as we unravel the mysteries, triumphs, and tragedies of the past and discover the timeless lessons that historical battles like the Battle of Karanse have to offer. Subscribe to the channel if you find this video informative. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to exploring more fascinating historical events with you in the future.